Good afternoon, I am going to show you how to play the intro to uh, Stay Away to Heaven, a, a great song. Um, some people don't like it, some people think it's overplayed, but it's still going around, it's still working, so there are still many people who want to learn how to do it, so I'm going to show you what to do. If you want to see the whole song, it's on the Patreon site at patreon.com forward slash Chris J. Connolly, uh, where you can find this plus lots of other songs and the full RGT and LCM grade system from grade one to grade eight. Um, please support that and support my YouTube channel as well. So um, you can download the tab from there. I've got the tab, some of the tab here in front of me. I'm going to show you the first uh, few bars, and we start with an A minor now. The A minor, it's only a half a bar, okay? If you take the full bar, okay, which is the first finger across the fifth fret, finger three uh, on fret seven of the uh, fifth string, and the little finger on fret seven of the fourth, I'm gonna split that so I'm only playing string one, two, three, and four. So I'm gonna take my third finger, put that on fret seven of the fourth string, and then my first finger is going across uh, fret five strings one two and three and then I'm going to play uh, those four strings with my plectrum okay. then I'm going to take my second finger these are the tricky bits I'm going to put that onto fret six of string four and my little finger onto fret seven of string one and then introduce hybrid picking. Hybrid picking is where you use your plectrum on one string and one of your fingers uh, on the other. And in this case, I'm gonna use my plectrum on string four and I'm gonna use my uh, third finger, yep, yeah, on string one. Okay, so I've got my second finger on fret six of string four, my little finger on uh, fret seven, string one, I'm gonna play them together. So I've got my plectrum playing string four, I've got my third finger playing string one. Okay. And then I'm going to use my plectrum to come back across string two and three strings, two and three. Okay. Um, we then use the third finger again to play string one and move that little finger up a fret to fret eight and um, cross your first finger across fret uh, five, strings one, two, three, and four. Okay, and we're gonna play those two strings again together using hybrid picking. So my, the plectrum's on string four and my little finger is on string one. So play that whole phrase. plectrum if you like um, so that's with the plectrum on my third finger doesn't really matter depends what day it is with me and then I'm gonna move to this chord here okay now the chords let me go through those chords actually as well there's a lot of controversy of the names of the chords the first one is simple it's A minor the second one is called all sorts of things I call it um, an E add five with the G sharp bass, so I'm adding the fifth here, okay, and I'm using the G sharp there, okay, so I'm adding the fifth and also a G sharp bass, so we'll call it an E, add five, 
with a G sharp bass. And then this is a, simply a C chord. You can imagine a C bar chord. So that was a C6, I'll put a C bar chord. Okay, I'm using these three notes here. And this is a C as well. Same as that one. So that's a C major chord, okay? Then we're going to uh, fret two with a, a bar chord. It looks like a, a B minor seven. Okay, but we're only using four strings. Um, and this is the F sharp, so it's an F sharp bass. And it's a D chord with an F sharp bass. Okay, and we're gonna play um, two strings, which is string four with the plectrum, string one with my third finger again. And then I'm gonna, with my plectrum upstrokes, string two and string three. that first string again. I'll do it slowly. F major 7 next, lovely chord. But again, it's not the full F major 7, it's only four strings. So I've got my third finger on string four at fret three. I've got my second finger on string three at fret two. And my third finger on string two at fret one. And the E string is open, okay? So that's the four chord I'm using. And I'm gonna play string uh, four with my plectrum and string one with my third finger. Okay, and again go uh, across um, string two with your plectrum, string three with your plectrum, string two with your plectrum. Okay. And then I'm going to play string one, two and three with my plectrum again. And notice they're all upstrokes. chord but what we're going to do first of all is play a B note here which is fret uh, 2 of string 5 okay with two open strings here and we're going to call that G uh, with a B bass so we've got a G chord if we play a G chord strings 2 3 and 4 are open and this finger here is on the B so it's the we just play the bass note of the of the G and the uh, second and third strings of the G. Okay, and then go to the A minor and play the same strings: string five, uh, two, and three. Play that twice with an A minor shape here. Okay, we've then got an uh, open A string, and we're going to slide up to fret eight. Um, of string five. Now when you slide uh, like that, you're sliding, it's called sliding from nowhere. You're not playing a note like that or, or that. You can't hear that first note. Okay, so you play the A string and then sort of jump into the string and finish up fret eight. When you're doing a slide like that, always look at the place that you're going to. So look at fret eight doesn't matter what's happening here, as long as you arrive at the right place. Like that, okay? So it's a, um, a slide from nowhere to fret eight of the fifth string. And then we're going back to fret seven. Play fret seven, okay? And then we're going to play the open A string. And that's going to lead into the next phrase, which is back to this A minor uh, half bar chord here. Okay. And this time we're going to play um, the open A note string, and I'm going to play the fret 7 of the bar chord on string 4, fret uh, 5 on string 3, 
fret five or string two. And let them, let them ring, don't, don't go. Okay, let all the strings ring so it forms the full chord, okay? Okay. Um, and then we're going into the uh, E, add five with the, uh, the G sharp bass again. but it's the, um, the D with an F sharp bass. And again, the same as we did last time. So we'll do all that slowly. Into F, uh, F major 7. Same again with the, uh, the fingering, with the, the uh, hybrid picking, plectrum on string four, and the third finger on string one, string two, three, and then um, up, up, up. So, and then up, up, up. And then the um, G with the B bass, plectrum on the fifth string, and then fingers two and three, on strings two and three. And the same with the A minor. Okay. We're nearly there. I said that before, haven't I? <laughs> We're nearly there. So we're going into a C chord now, an open C chord. We're going to do a, a run up to the C with the note on the A string, open A, fret two of the A string, and then fret three, which is the C note, um, and play. Uh, a sort of arpeggio with the C chord and then my third finger plucks the first string into a D chord and I'm going to play the fourth string of the D chord with my plectrum um, and the first string with my finger and then back over Two and three again, strings two and three. Okay. Flick, string one with your third finger again. Um, and then into the um, F, sorry, F major seven. That was bollocks. Okay, now we're going to uh, play a C chord. I'm going to do a run up to that C chord with the first note of the A string, the open uh, A string, uh, fret two um, of the A string, and then the C note, which is fret three of the A string. And I'm playing the uh, strings five, four, three. Then jump onto a D, uh, D chord. I'm playing the open D, and I'm playing the uh, string one of the D chord together. So with the plectrum on string four, and with my third finger on string one, and then go across string two and three, and then play again that third finger on the E string. C chord, I'm going to run up to the C chord, I'm going to use the open A string, fret 2 of the A string, and then the C note, which is fret 3 of the uh, A string, play string 5, 4, sorry, string 4, and then string 3 uh, of that C chord, I'm going to do that again. So now we come to the C chord, I'm going to do a run up from the open A string, and then fret 2 of the A string, 
and then fret three, which is the C note and the start of the C chord. And play strings five, four, three, and my third finger is going to play the top E string. So. Again, I'm going to play the root note of the chord, which is the, the D string on the string four, and my third finger is going to play fret two of the E string. Play them together and then play strings two and then three. And again, that third finger is going to play the E string of the D chord. Then we change to the F major seven, and again, um, I'm going to play two. Um, strings, the D string or the fourth string, and the open E string. And again, over on strings two, three, one. And this is where we do a bit of a hammer on with the A minor chord. So I'm going to play the um, A note. The A minor chord is there. I'm going to play the A note and I'm going to hammer on at the same time on string two from fret zero. To fret one like this, but I'm still putting the whole chord on because I'm going to be using that. So the hammer on is, is here and the open A string together, and again with the plectrum, I'm playing the A string and the uh, second string, I'm playing with the third finger, and then play with the plectrum uh, string three, fret two. I'll do that again. Running up to the C again using the A string open, fret two, and then fret three. But this time we're going to play um, the second string of the C chord, which is at fret one here. And again, it's with the plectrum down and with the third finger up. Okay. Then over string three, string four, and then play that second string again at fret one with that third finger. Okay. Okay. We then need a G chord. Okay, now I play a G chord like that. You've seen me do that a lot and I prefer everybody to play that way if they could. Some do it that way. Good luck with that. Um, I'm going to do it this way because I'm going to play the, the G um, on string six and the G on string one together, okay? And then the open B and the open G. And again, my third finger is going to play that top E string, okay? We then have a D chord. But what I'm going to do with that is to play the root note, which is the D string. I'm going to use uh, the sus4, uh, first first of all, which is to put the little finger on fret 3 of the A string and pull that little finger off. Like that, okay? And then play the whole D chord together. So I'm playing with my plectrum um, string 4, with my second finger I'm playing string 3, with my third finger I'm playing uh, finger, uh, string two, and with my fourth finger I'm playing string one. If you can't manage that because it's, it's quite difficult, I would just play D uh, or string four and then use fingers um, two and three to play strings two and one. Like that, instead of play that. Okay, we're going back up to the C again. Open A, fret two of the A string, and then the C note on the on the C on the uh, A string. And again, this time I'm going to play um, string five, four, three, two. So it's all the notes of the C chord with the plectrum, the D chord. And uh, again, I'm playing the open uh, D with fret two of the first string of the D chord. And then back over um, strings two and three. So we go. And again with the third finger, flick on the E string. Um, 
and then um, the A minor again, okay? And I'm playing the um, open A, hammer on string uh, two, that first finger, and then play with my second finger, string three, back up to the C. String five, four, three, two. Form a D chord and play strings four, three, two, one. So I'll do that again. And this is the end. <laughs> F major seven. And again, I'm playing four fingers, and oh, my plectrum and three fingers. So my plectrum is on string four, my second finger is on string three, my third finger is on string two, and my little finger is on string one. And play all the strings together. You can, again, just play the open, and then strings two and one of it makes it easier. Okay, you want to see the rest of the song? With tabs, downloadable tabs on the backing tracks, then please go to our Patreon site at www.patreon.com forward slash Chris J. Connolly, and I'll see you there with lots of other songs and the great system from the RGT at LCM. Great uh, exams. Uh, if, uh, there's anything, if you join Patreon and there's anything you want to um, anything you want me to transcribe, then please send me a message. And I'll see you soon.